This futuristic device is actually a tiny flexible robot that can 3D print inside your body. A team of engineers in Australia have created a device that could revolutionize surgery with its ability to snake through the body and print biomaterial to repair tissue or ruptured blood cells. Currently, surgeons take care of these types of issues with an invasive surgery that puts the patient at risk of blood loss and infection. The current three bioprinting technology, they uh, yield a last uh, 3D printer machine like this. And then if they want to implant the biomaterial, for example, this one, they very fragile and easy uh, to broken. And then they have to open uh, the human body like this, then do the implantation. But this technology, they uh, have a lot of limitation, high infection risk and high blood loss. In the lab, we try to scale this uh, machine into the smaller version. Uh, like this device and then we can insert into the human body using the natural orifice like the mouth or the anus and even we can use with a minimally invasive surgery. The device called F3DB has a flexible 3-axis printing head. The smallest prototype is currently just under half an inch, but future versions could be even smaller. F3DB can be pre-programmed into specific shapes or operated manually for more complex printing. Its nozzle could act as a scalpel and water jet to allow doctors to do things like dissect tissues, remove cancerous tumors, and clean any wounds prior to bioprinting. Subrobots is very good for working with the human body because they mostly make from soft materials such as silicon elastomer, and therefore they can offer the safe interaction with the living body. Second thing that soft robot they can offer high flexibility and adaptability. It means they can fit to any area inside the human body. This isn't the first 3D printer designed to go inside the body. In 2020, Chinese researchers unveiled a micro robot designed to patch stomach ulcers. The team in Australia said that if future clinical trials go well, their device could be ready for use in the next five to seven years.